eleven. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cheesy. Um, but let's talk about something that Soldov brought up, which is really important when trying to figure out what weight you should be at with it, with the that specific exercise you're doing, and that is called RIR, which stands for reps in reserve. So a good or a very, very basic way to explain that is if you're doing the chest press, for example, and you put 35s on there on each side and you could do 20 reps of that safely or like, you know, before you get muscle failure, your RIR is 20 reps. So when in the comments where he said you want to go for zero to three RIR, what that means is a good way to gauge whether or not you're lifting the correct weight is say you do 20 or you are able to do 20 with uh, 35s on the bar. You want to increase the weight so that the amount of reps you do, uh, you're going to feel muscle failure towards the 13th rep, right? Uh, that way, when you do 10, you have about three RIR. So that's what that means. Um, something really, really important to know, especially if you're trying to figure out what weight you're doing or you know whether or not you're at the right weight or if you should move up um, or if you're too high, uh, meaning like you can only do two or three reps, um, then you should probably bring it down a notch uh, so you're able to do five. Uh, per his uh, recommendation, you want to be in the range of five to 15 with the total rep range being five to 30. So that's something I definitely want to try out next week uh, because throughout this whole challenge so far, I've been doing 50 reps and what I've been hearing across the board is um, it's pretty consistent in that like I might be doing too much. So I'm going to take it a little easier on the body and I have heard that if you if you do in fact give your body time to recover, you actually see better gains. So I'm going to listen to what everyone is saying here. I'm not going to be stubborn or anything like that. Uh, again, I'm not... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not an expert, nor am I a nutritionist or, you know, some uh, person that went to like medical school to, uh, to know exactly what there is that makes the body tick. Uh, I'm not that guy. So uh, just keep the, the advice and the insight coming. And I love talking about it on the videos. Thank you so much for, uh, for those that have been commenting and keeping things interesting for me. Uh, let's go over the workouts for today. Like I said from the day before, I, I took it a little easier today on the upper body. I didn't really work it out at all. I did uh, mostly abs and legs. And uh, so what we did today was the plank. I did three of uh, three sets of those for one minute each. Flutter kicks, three sets, uh, two for 20, one for 30. <laughs> the glute press, I did a total of 50 reps for that. Calf raises, 50 reps. The abductor, which is uh, your thighs like sort of closing inwards, I did both the in and the out. So for the abductor in, I did 72 reps of that. And for the abductor out, I did 50 reps of those. And lastly, we did crunches, three sets of 20. So a total of 60 reps. And for the food, we are at six out of eight pints. So two more pints of water to drink should be easy. I'll get that done as I'm editing the video. I'm at 2300 calories for the day and I'm at 132 grams of protein. But yeah, it's um it's going well. I uh, I plan to take a, an easier day again tomorrow and uh come Monday I'm going to go into doing heavier sets but keeping my range just a little uh around 30 at least versus the uh, traditional 50 that I was doing. Um, and if I, or if anyone has anything interesting to talk about for me, um, please, again, leave a comment on the bottom and I'll see you next time.